You might already know that I am a huge advocate of using some kind of modular system for packing, but this is taking modularity to the next level. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And this is a quick look at the Black Amber V4. The Black Amber V4 is a 33 liter carry-on sized backpack with a highly modular mindset. Almost everything is detachable, from the outer laptop compartment, over the side handle and a huge array of internal cubes. All of these can be detached, attached or switched around, which makes this an ideal bag for multiple scenarios going from a traveling to a photography backpack. Before we go to the main feature inside the bag, let's start from the outside. In the front there is one organizational compartment with a couple of different pouches and slots. I wouldn't call this quick access because you need to unbuckle the top compression straps first to completely open it. But there is a small quick access slot at the top for a phone or wallet. I basically use this to quickly store my valuables during a security check at the airport. Speaking of the security check at the airport, Black Amber attached a laptop compartment which can fit a 15 inch laptop and has an extra slot for a tablet on the outside to easily just lay out the compartment at the security check. But in my experience, the security agent at the airport will ask you to take out the laptop anyway. Your mileage may vary of course. The laptop compartment has a very well padded and good ventilated back. However, if you decide to remove it completely, there is still a well padded, albeit not ventilated back on the back itself. Furthermore, the shoulder straps are extremely comfortable. Not only are they well padded, but padded in a rounded shape, which adds to the comfort, but also slightly reduces the area of contact, which then again probably minimizes sweating in those areas in the summer. They are also highly adjustable to distribute the weight on your bag and can be stowed away if needed. Once stowed away, you can carry the bag with the top or the side handle which can be attached to either side of the bag. And speaking of things to attach, we now go to the inside of the bag. Inside the main compartment, you can find two zippered compartments and a slot in the lid. Which by the way is also big enough for a 15 inch MacBook Pro. But the main attraction are these cubes. These cubes can be attached and detached via this magnetic system. This system holds the cubes securely in place while still being easily detachable. There are two types of cubes, compression cubes and DSLR cubes. Further, there are two sizes, number 2 and number 4. The compression cubes are great for clothing or other non-fragile items, while the DSLR cubes, as the name suggests, are well padded and therefore are great for photography equipment. As an added bonus, there is a lightweight shoulder strap that you can attach to the cubes if you do not want to lug around the whole backpack. Obviously, this is a proprietary system compared to the, let's call it, open source Moly system. But the benefit is a very easy and fast interchangeability. That way you could just have multiple different cubes with different items and just grab the ones you need. So depending on the cubes that you are using, this could be either a travel or a photography backpack. Currently, I'm not too sure if the compression straps on the compression cubes are really needed. I probably usually would just leave them open, like on normal packing cubes, and therefore I would rather not have them at all to simplify the cube and save some marginal weight. Weight is something to consider with this bag. The first time when I unpacked this bag with everything attached, I was quite astounded by the weight. With everything attached and three cubes inside the bag, the bag weighs around 4 kilograms empty. Which is why I detached the waist strap and the laptop compartment. The laptop compartment is great to have and very well made. But since German security officers at the airport want me to remove the laptop anyway and I'm quite hesitant to leave my laptop outside of the bag despite the water resistant materials and the provided rain cover, I decided just to take off the laptop compartment most of the time and store my laptop inside the main compartment. But be aware, that slot is not padded at all, which is why I use my neoprene laptop sleeve when storing my MacBook inside the slot of the main compartment. The Black Amber V4 uses lots of great materials, is well made and highly customizable. All of the different cubes let you adapt the bag to any situation. With enough money, you could basically just buy different types of DSLR cubes, fill them up with different types of gear for different types of jobs for instance or have a bunch of compression cubes, fill them up with clothing, depending on where you need to go. 
Then just grab the cubes for your next trip and quickly attach them inside the bag. But lots of options mean lots of decisions. Do you need cube X or Y? Do you want a padded laptop compartment? Do you need a waist strap? Etc. In my humble opinion, it is great to have so many options, but please try to think about how you want to use the bag before you might buy too many add-ons that you won't use in the end. Bottom line, I like the bold design, the choices of materials and this awesome modular system. So I can see this bag as a perfect all-round backpack for a photographer or videographer. Got a shooting? Grab all the DSLR cubes. Want to go on a weekend trip? Grab the compression cubes. So if you're carrying fragile equipment from time to time, but you also want a carry-on friendly backpack for traveling, or you just like the idea of a highly modular system, then I can highly recommend the Black Amber V4. And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.